Hello, everyone, and welcome back to twitch.tv slash dance next, the coolest place on the internet. We've got Bloodborne on deck tonight. What a way to cap off the holiday. Man, is it, has it been the holidays? Feels like it was like two days ago. Uh, let's get some blood vials while people get in here, and then we're going to head to the Forbidden Woods. Scary zone. It is a scary zone. Let's go snag a couple of blood vials while we get the stream kicked off. Hello, hello, chat. Oh, big, big dude. Okay. Not so big now, are you? Boom, oh, got him. Uh, we're just gonna grab a couple of vials before we head on our way here, since we're just starting back up. If you're watching on the VOD, hello. If you're watching on YouTube, hello. I don't know if I'm gonna post this one on YouTube, but there's lots of cool stuff on there. This guy reminds me of a very mean dog. Hmm. Okay, we got some blood vials. You know, you never leave home without the blood vials, so it's up to you where you want to get your blood vials, but since I figure we'll be fighting some bosses tonight, maybe we might need a few blood vials. And nobody's here yet, so, you know, I'm talking to myself. Thor Kirk Hammer is actually a pretty terrible weapon, just FYI. You know, on it, Prime, yes, that, when I, when I, when my comments, I do mean that, that it's not the dog's fault. Uh, excuse me if I wasn't very clear on that topic. Low Tep, hello, Happy New Year to you. Happy freaking New Year! We're going, we're going back into the work week next week. I think I'm gonna have a lot of really cool work-related things to share that will be of interest to this community uh, sometime soon. Uh, pretend this one. I'm not upset with the dog. A happy New Year to everybody. I mean, a dog did eat my groceries, but yes, we are we are holding the owner responsible and not the dog. I don't I don't think I need to make that clear, but just in case. I mean, if I'm a dog and I smell a delicious hamburger, I'ma go eat it too. All right, that's how that's how I'm wired. Now the owner, of course, could have not let that happen. I don't know if it's this week, Prime. I just know that we'll have fun stuff to talk about. I don't know what the timing is exactly. <clears throat> Probably not this week. Maybe next week. I'm not entirely certain, to be honest with you. Let's just say in the near future. Boy, a large boy. Best of luck to me and the GI crew. Well, thank you. You brought two pizzas home from Michigan? God, I'm jealous. You know what I had for dinner? You know what? I'm not gonna tell you. Um, low tep, thank you. We're, we're really, you know, as you probably know, GI has been through the ringer these last few years, and a um, lot of awesome projects I want to get started on this year, taking GI onward and upward into new directions. Uh, I'm building upon what we already do, so. I appreciate the well wishes. Same to you, Lotep, and whatever your pursuits are for the 2022. Let's hope 2022 is awesome, right? And 
not only that, let's make it awesome together as a community here. Oh, I still got kind of some sniffling going on, and I got lots of fatigue, but, you know, I can play Bloodborne in my sleep, so if I have to, that's what we'll do. Of course, Prime. Uh, obviously, you're well aware of the extreme volatility that we have endured over the last few years. It has been very challenging. Say the least. <clears throat> but again, I, I always want to bring the best and keep moving forward in that regard. Hey, Bacon, what up, yo? Welcome to Bloodborne Central, home of the Good Burger. Home of the Good Burger and uh, Grindelthorpe, apparently. Hello, Grindelthorpe. It's late where you are. You're already well, well, well past the new year. Alright, I think we got enough vials, right? Maybe, yes, maybe. People are here now. It's been five minutes. People usually show up after five minutes. I was just doing a little warm up, a little uh, vial procurement so we can go hard in whichever direction we choose to go. We have a couple options now, I believe. Forbidden Woods being the most obvious route, but we can also, I think, we can maneuver our way into getting to go into the dungeon. That's one of the cool perks that I think that From Software is very good at. And, uh, you know, giving the player a really interesting surprise, like getting put in jail in this game by one of the bag men. It has to happen organically. They do put them in some locations where it's likely to happen, but you've got to get snagged by one. Uh, so I really, really loved what they did with that. That one came out of nowhere. I was just like, what? I can't leave? Yeah, okay. Prime, go ahead with your question. Pretentious one? I don't want to hear it. Okay. Ben Woods. Yeah, Croc, it's Lord Hammer time. Your younger son slept through the entire Spider-Man movie. That's, you know, hey. Sometimes you gotta take a nap. I, I, you've got hard questions. I've got harder answers. Only at twitch.tv slash dance next. Tell a friend. <clears throat> Do I prefer Estes system? Or, or Vile's Grass? Uh, I prefer the combination of both, actually. And I think Elden Ring finally found the, the sweet spot. Again, Elden Ring is the culmination of everything that From Software have learned from every game they've ever made. Uh, Dark Souls 2 had both systems intersecting, where you had Estus and you had Life Gems, which are essentially, you know, the consumable healing source. You had both of those as an option in DS2, depending on the situation. However, if we can only have one system, then I prefer Estus. Uh, I'm not sure what is currently known publicly about Elden Ring system, except that it does use flasks, so... The Estus flask system from 3 will essentially be returning. Uh, and there are also new flasks. Hello, Azal. Welcome and good evening. There are new flasks, uh, called the Flasks of Wondrous Physic. I wrote about them extensively at GI. Um... In an, incarnate, in an earlier incarnation that we saw in the uh, network test. And they are essentially made-to-order consumables. So you could make it restore stam, health, mana, give you a power boost. You could do all kinds of things with it. It's called the Flask of Wondrous Physic. 
And it is a reusable consumable, which is modular. You know how I love that word. When is Matrix Resurrections out for rent? I don't know. I watched it on HBO Max, and I say, save your money. Um, uh, again, Elden Ring. I think people will be awed at how Elden Ring subtly combines many of the of aspects that From Software has toyed around with and bandied about with for years to an area of perfection that has yet been unforeseen by the company. Yes, the Flask of Wondrous Physic with a K. It is a uh, a very cool item to say the least. That gives the player a modular consumable that they can tweak to their specifications that can be used and refreshed at bonfires. Or, I'm sorry, not bonfires. Sites of Lost Grace. What is up with developers spelling words wrong? No, they spell it right. It's like Old English, right? Ooh, twin shards. I think we can upgrade our hammy ham. You were gifted Elden Ring for Xmas. I wish I was gifted Elden Ring for Xmas. You do not have to learn anything about it ahead of time. I need to pay more attention, don't I? Oh, don't worry, you weren't spoiled on anything. I assure you, whatever you think has been spoiled for Elden Ring for, for you, it has not been. Relax. Red pill or blue pill? So wait. One is knowing the truth, right? If we're if we're gonna take these at face value. I think I think you always take the red pill. Uh, I'd rather know that reality sucked rather than not know about reality, the, the truth behind reality. I know we've had people in this very chat defend uh, Cyrus's point of view, but you need to remember that Cyrus was a spineless coward and a traitor. Not really things that I'm interested in. I'm aware of pretentious one. Galron Hubbard, thank you so much for the sub. Am I done with integrator or just taking a break? Just taking a break. I've made no comment about whether or not we're going to finish that or not. I reserve the right to finish it or not finish it. Depending on my whims. Galron Hubbard, thank you so much for the sub. Thanks for being here. I'm under the weather, but we're having a great time anyway. Welcome. I mean, we got Dread almost done. Integrate sounds like a thing we could probably do. I think I just kind of had my fill of Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, for a day or two. We'll see. We'll see how I feel after I feel better, hopefully tomorrow. When did Dread get so high? I added Azel's thing to the tally. Since Azel did a direct tip, it doesn't get added from the bit counter, but I went through and added it. I went in and added it manually. I converted it to bits and added it. Yeah, I feel, Basil, I, I have heard nightmares about Dread, but I, I hopefully we'll be able to handle it. Do I have Dread installed? No, it is not downloaded yet, Prime. And even if I did, I, we wouldn't, you know, we wouldn't have it ready to go tonight. It's not instant. The meter, the meter takes effect the next day. The instant one is the one-chip challenge, and only a real sicko would make me do that in my current condition. But that one is instant. The, uh, the meter filling has always been next stream. 
So and today, there's time for that. I hesitated. Camu, thank you so much for the sub. A tier three sub from Camu. Wow, thank you. That's huge. Thank you so much, Camu. Thanks for being here. And thanks again for the wonderful Christmas presents. Yeah, I know, Bacon. I'm aware. I I know. I'm I'm more concerned about the stomach stuff than the, uh, the heat ma masochism part of it. Uh, Camu, uh, again, I appreciate that. That's a tier three sub coming at me. That's really awesome. And Camu also got me a new Crocodile keyboard cheered. and kitty ears, which X I will eventually put on. Remember what the when I feel better. Said, feed your head. Feed your head. Yeah, that's a cool part of the matrix. Thank you, Croc, for the bits. We got a hype train, folks. You can't have a rainbow without Ryan, baby. Another thing I gotta do is revamp the soundboard. I'm gonna get to that, I promise. It'll happen within the first month of the new year. I gotta move too. Man, it's gonna be a wild first month. And I got some other big projects at work that I gotta finish up. <clears throat> Hype indeed. Yeah, Prime, I don't think so. I was into horror and stuff long before The Matrix, so... Low underscore tap cheered. X500. Why, thank you, Low Tap. Low Tap with 500 I bits. Think I the, the hype train rolls on, and we got a gifted sub from Bacon. Big fan of bacon. That's uh, bacon's 14th gifted sub here. We got some bits. We got bacon. We're having a great time. We're playing some Bloodborne. I hope that your New Year's has been amazing. If you're headed back to work tomorrow like me, I hope that you have a great time. And that things go smoothly for you. And if you have to travel, I hope you don't get anything nasty. Ugh. And I certainly hope, if you order groceries, that it doesn't get eaten. <laughs> You're mentally preparing. Yeah, me too. I'm playing Bloodborne. Uh, and we're hanging out. We're having a good time. We got a high train going. Now that is how we prepare. You know, I know there's like a shortcut in one of these freaking stupid shacks, and I never remember which one it is. It's cleverly hidden. By the careful eye of Miyazaki. Did I only have sausages in that bag? No, no, there was all kinds of stuff. There was cheese, there, it was a bunch of keto stuff. Cheese, mustard, hamburgers, bacon. Uh, a lot of really good stuff in there. I don't want to go into it. It makes me, it hurts me to think about it. <laughs> Alright, I see a Matrix 4 post. No spoilers! Oh yeah, definitely. Anyway, yeah, don't watch Matrix 4, please. God, help yourself. Don't make the same mistake I did. Uh, thanks again, everybody, for making this hype train. I appreciate it a lot. Get hype! Whoa! I do feel better than I did yesterday, but I also feel like I, my energy drain is higher, so I don't know what that means. Alright, 
whatever. Let's move on. Let's move on. Hype train. Hype train. I don't know. Some people that I that I talked to that saw Matrix 4 really liked it. Uh, again, kind of the same attitude I take to games. If you liked it, that's awesome. I, I think it was one of the worst things I've seen in years, and I watch a lot of terrible horror movies. <laughs> like, I deliberately seek out bad horror movies to watch, and this was worse. Anyway. Man beast waits ahead. Indeed. What's my favorite bad movie? Oh god. I don't know. Rocky Horror Picture Show, an easy pick. I don't know if that's my favorite, but it's it's got to be up there. Yo, Hype Train, thanks everybody who chipped in for that one. I appreciate it a lot. We made it to level two. That's way more hype than I expected. Much appreciated, fam. Uh, this is the back route to Yosefka's clinic, but I'm trying to think. It's, we don't need anything from here right now. Yeah, I appreciate that, y'all. For reals. Especially when I'm having a couple of trying days. The new year has not been kind. Uh, but, you know, it's like people said. We're starting off on the down note, and then we're going to go up. So that's actually that's the way to do things. John Carpenter's Vampires? Yeah, that's, that's not a great movie. I'll agree with that. John Carpenter is mostly, like, all hits, though. But sure, he's not without misses. Any movie made by Yui Bo. But yeah, but you said it said that you liked. You said favorite bad movie. I don't think I can ever say that that about Yui Bull stuff is just it's not good, and that's fine. Yeah, it said, the question was, what's my favorite bad movie? There's probably a lot of good choices for that. I just immediately went to Rocky Horror, because I used to go to those midnight showings back in the day. Oh, God! I didn't know there was a bag man here. I mean, do we want to get kidnapped? Maybe we want to get kidnapped. Hey, twin bloodstone stars on. That's nice. All right, no regrets. Evil Dead. That's a good pick. That is definitely a, a bad movie. That has gotten a lot of like cult love going for it over the years. Peter Jackson. Peter Jackson has several choices, right? Peter Jackson has that one terrible zombie movie that I Dead Alive, right? That one would definitely be up there. P. 
Peter Jackson, before uh, before he did uh, Lord of the Rings and became ultra famous, did a lot of bad horror movies. <laughs> Which I think is rather humorous. No, the Bad Taste film I saw. That's a different movie. He did Dead Alive as well. Which is the one with like the lawnmower where they just chop through. It, it's something, folks, let me tell you. Uh, I think when we... T okay, so I'm going to set some ground rules for this. When we pick favorite bad movie, it can't be a bad movie that was intentionally made to be bad. No, I, I think people like the Hobbit trilogy still a pretentious one. They just don't like it as much as Lord of the Rings. Back in film school, they really beat it into our heads that you cannot have a camp movie that was intentionally designed as such, because that takes the that that removes the nature of it. Now I don't know if I buy that in this day and age. But for the rules of this, I think we should play with We have to pick our favorite bad movie that isn't intentionally bad. <laughs> I think we I think we gotta set that ground rule. Yeah, I guess The Room would be a very big one on this list. That is a very bad movie. I just don't like it even taken at bad value. Oh man, look at that looping level. Such mastery. Shop smart, shop S smart. Tremors, good pick. Tremors number one. It, no, but it's somebody's favorite bad movie. Dr. Mono. That's, if you're just getting here, we're talking about our favorite bad movies in chat. But it can't be an intentionally bad movie. So it can't be like a parody of a bad movie that knows that it's a bad movie. So something like, you know, Mars Attacks would be out. Um, let's run the stream rate. Yeah, I, I thought I knew you meant Bruce Campbell. Bruce Campbell's in Dead by Daylight, did you know that? You can play as Bruce Campbell as one of the survivors, which is pretty cool. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I knew that one was going to come up. Yeah, that definitely qualifies. Yeah, it can't have been... Basically, M321, it can't have been created like, you know... Hey, we're making a bad movie. It can't have been done as a bad movie intentionally. It just has to be a bad movie on its own merits and not made as like a... It can't be intentionally bad. <clears throat> <clears throat> the Starship Troopers count as intentionally bad. No, no, certainly not. Is it me or did my my camera lose some resolution? Man, I don't know. You know, I can't, I can't win these days. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Okay, we did not win that. Drop a unit, gang. If you're here, we're playing Bloodborne. 
Drop a Stream Raider unit. It's fun. There are manatees. Uh, oh god, what do I hit? I need to boomer proof my setup when I uh, redo things at the new apartment. Uh, broken arrow. Yeah. Hey, Mariana, what's up, yo? We are currently Bloodborne. From Software's second best game. No, no, Halloween... I mean, it can be your favorite pretentious one, but that movie is garbage. And you know what? I still think that movie was better than the new Halloween. The new Halloween was so freaking bad. Yeah, Camu, you know, that's... It's a technical term. That's good to hear, Mariano. I hope, you had a, I hope you're having a great new year. I mean, you can pick anything as your favorite bad movie. I can't, like, police what you're picking. And an accomplished hunter, it would appear. <laughs> I am Volter, master. Oh, yeah, you're very welcome, Cass. Good to see you. Members Been a while. Cleanse the streets of all the filth that spread about during the hunt. Like any half-decent hunter ought to, you know? Haven't you seen enough of these wretched beasts? Freakish slugs and mad doctors. Sentence these fiends to death with the help of your League confederates. What do you say? Why not join the League? Yes, as a hunter well should. Come at the start. Our own Carol Rune, symbol of the League. The night brims with defiled scum and is permeated by their rotten stench. This guy's really into it. Now you're all set to hunt and kill to your heart's content. Hunt in cooperation with your fellows, your League confederates. <laughs> I use permeate all the time, Exit. It's no, a good word. There is one thing you must know. By the oath of the League, those who bear its rune will see Vermin. Vermin ride deep within all... Filth. You like the Rob Zombie Halloween movie? I, think, I like some of Rob Zombie's movies. I think House of a Thousand Corpses is great. Uh, I even like Devil's Rejects. After that, boy... Uh, I don't know, after that, things, things happened. Human corruption. And so, yes, Ravenna. Rid of all vermin, you must continue to hunt and kill. This bloody fate is ours alone. Do not expect the world to grasp our work. But remember, the Confederates will always have my blessing. And each other. Always. Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Great books! Exists I could not get through the movie. I think I have it somewhere. Ridding us of any and so. Until this do not end. This bloody fate is ours alone. Maybe we should go back to that bag man. What do you think? Before we do woods, we can go break out of the jail, kill the dark beast. Oh, great. That's cool, Danny. I uh, Maybe I will check that out. I mean, I, I have... I've already tried to watch it, but I didn't get through it. And as you may have guessed, I was a huge fan of the books as a kid. Wow, I had a lot of twin stone shards. Ooh, radial gems. Fizz attack up blunt attack. Ooh, 
It's all blunt with the two-handed, right? Let's use that. Yeah, the illustrations were quite haunting, as Ellen. Most of the stories were taken from, you know, urban legends and folklore, so the, uh... The illustrations went a long way to selling them. They were very haunting. You know they changed those illustrations for kids today because they were too scary? Which I'm against, but... Seeds, what up, yo? Welcome. Tim Burton did a I didn't I didn't know that. <clears throat> but yeah, scary stories until in the dark were were deeply disturbing for kids. Now, Raven, do, do, do you remember these books? The illustrations were deemed too scary for children. So in modern reprintings, they removed them all and, and replaced them with other with new ones. I mean, granted, I remember them. They are disturbing. <laughs> but you're reading a, a horror book. It's supposed to be disturbing. How great were the Fear Street movies? They were awful. They were so bad. They were like Matrix 4 bad. Do not watch. Oh, snakes. I hate snakes. Why did it have to be snakes, right? This part of the woods is pretty scary. You were on a treadmill lurking during the day stream. I appreciate that. Always appreciate the lurk. You were thinking about seeing Matrix 4 with Shrouded. Should I watch Fear Street instead? I would... I would watch anything but those movies, but... You make your own choices. No, I wouldn't... For one thing, Argent, to be very clear, we're not blaming the dog for its actions. Uh, obviously, this is on owner, on the owner. And no, they ran away. So, whatever. Life goes on. Kess, I'm sorry about the commercial break. I did answer. I said, don't watch any of that stuff. Watch something else. You know, Kess? Hey. Go ahead. You watch it. Did I get replacement food? No, I didn't. I tried to order some more. Uh, and there are no drivers available. Yo, imagine just taking 1,000 damage and not caring like these guys. Jesus. Listen, I don't want to get chat into a big, you know, is Matrix good, is Matrix bad thing, but yeah. I didn't like it. So what? I'm one man. I'm just one man. See, other people liked it. Exit Dust liked it. I think Miyazaki is like working orders for this zone was like just have it be snakes everywhere. Really scary piles of snakes. Oh yeah, make the whole area like twisty and turny and stuff so people can't find their way around. And then we'll put like giant snakes in there that spit poison too. That way people will really be scared. Yeah, it, a rat king, but with snakes. Exactly. 
So there again, everybody hates this area. I hate this area. Everybody, everybody hates this area. You're meant to hate this area. It's like, well, we have giant snakes, we got baby snakes. And they're all really slithering and scary. What do we do next? Oh, I know. Snake men, too. Just have a human. But replace their heads with snakes, too. We gotta have more snakes. And, like, look at the direction here. Look at the art direction. A lot of people don't recognize the subtleties because you're running through this area scared for your life. But look at the plants here. Like, these are meant to evoke serpent-like feelings as well so that the player is... Concerned that the very flow the, the very uh, flora and fauna of the zone is also a snake ready to strike. As usual, from software are absolute masters at environmental storytelling. Uh, and I think you're gonna see that even more in Elden Ring. On, on a next to a next level, actually. God. As always, use the environment to your advantage. Oh my god! That was really close. That was lethal right there, folks. You don't know how close to death I just came. Spoiler alert, it was really close. Let me check on my, uh, my groceries, part two. I don't think they're coming tonight. Everybody's sick. Like, the COVID rate where I am at is absurd. Yeah, I don't think it's, I don't think it's coming tonight. Yeah, look what time it is. There's no way it's coming tonight. And instead of having, like, the regular delivery schedule, like, the places that I would usually get stuff from, uh, have it on, like, a, um, a three-day window now. I get that. COVID is, is literally everywhere now. Right now, I'm hoping that your boy doesn't have it. Your boy is me. Zelastar, hey, what area is this? This is the Forbidden Woods, Zelastar. Welcome. It is, if you haven't noticed, it's really forbidden. This is a very dangerous and, and pretty much the first maze-like zone in the game. I guess you could count the first zone too, but... It's a very dangerous zone, and depending on your playthrough, it may be the first time that you see aliens in the game.
This guy right here is basically guarding our next checkpoint. And he can be a really spicy one. We don't like this guy at all. In fact, good strat is to run past him, but... A snake man, Jerry. Spoilers. It's not spoilers, okay? We've played Bloodborne more than once here. Listen, I mean... Argent, you think the Kirk Hammer? The Kirk Hammer is not a very good weapon. I think any of the starting weapons are pretty much better, but you know what? It's fine. This is a, uh, a custom playthrough. Yes, that's correct. The Shadows of Yarnum Zelestar. They are actually one of my harder encounters in this game. As I always like to say when it comes to Souls games and From Software games, not everybody has the same experience with each boss, right? Uh, Shadows of Yarnum historically gives me trouble. Yeah, we, I think that's always one of the cool things about these games, too, is that each each player, you know, has their own sort of uh, nemesises that come up as, uh, as they play through the games. Obviously, practice, you know, makes perfect for pretty much anything. But because Bloodborne isn't offered in 60, it is, despite being my current favorite game, Elden Ring will definitely destroy it. Um, despite that being the case... Uh, I rarely go back and play through it over and over because of the, uh, the lack of 60 frames a second. I mean, we can literally play any other From Software modern action RPG in 60, except for Bloodborne. Which is like, why? Right? It's unfortunate. Sony, get on that. I know you're in chat right now. I think I missed like a I think I missed a house here that I can get the tonsil at. I get that feeling. Welcome. Very well. Hey, what up, Barry? Oh, Argent, there are so many different contingencies that could be factors here. I don't think we know, we, we don't know, that's for sure. We mere mortals are not privy to the business deals. <clears throat> yeah, Zelda Star, I mean, yeah. Basically, it feels so much, playing any of these games in 30, as opposed to 60. It feels so much cleaner in 60. 
The action is so much tighter. You know what I mean? Isn't there supposed to be like a house in here? That I missed? By the way, Barry, hello. You join us again. We are happy to have you here. I guess not. I definitely don't get nostalgic for that Blight Town Sub 15. Not then, not ever. Uh, yeah, I have, I have low tip. Not on. I rarely do that in playthroughs these days. Uh, but you know, when Bloodborne was new and fresh, I went through and killed Queen. Um, I have not been back since in that regard. I don't really find the Kalos Dungeons that captivating, TBH. I think it's mostly a lot of busy work. There are some good encounters in there, but most of it is just a pain in the butt. And I really like how, you know, Elden Ring has, has streamlined a lot of these annoyances. You know, certainly things that weren't game breakers, but just annoying stuff. Arjun, I am aware of all the stuff that's in Chalice Dungeons. Very few of them are worth going down there for, honestly. I know there are, there are plenty of different bosses down there, but not all of them are good. In fact, most of them aren't good. There's a handful of cool ones. That sounds like fun, Zellastar. That does sound like fun. Hey, Goofy, what's up? Happy Sunday. Happy New Year. Happy everything. Thanks for being here. I hope you're having a goofy New Year. Today has been a whole day for me. So, we're just playing Bloodborne until the day is over so nothing bad can happen. What's the worst thing that can happen to me in Bloodborne? I die. Big deal. That's the game. You know, there, there might be some aliens over here. You can't pretend this one. I turned it off. And besides, I doubt any of the places that I even have on Treat Stream are even open right now. They're certainly not. Oh yeah, for sure, Arden. If you know the, uh, if you know, like, the codes to go to the special ones to get the special items, and... I'm not saying they're not worth doing, I'm saying to do them in a traditional fashion, with the progression aspect to get to the cool bosses, is to me not worth the, not worth the time. Under normal circumstances. Uh, procedural generated content can be awesome, Zellastar. It really depends on the implementation. And I am glad From tried it. Uh, I think From will be able to do something really cool with procedurally generated aspects someday. But I don't think, uh, I think their first attempt with the uh, Chalice Dungeons didn't, didn't really nail it. I think procedural generation, especially procedural generation with rules, 
can be very, very cool uh, impl implemented content for games. <clears throat> Sure, but they gotta try. They gotta try. You know, they have to. You gotta experiment before you find the the mad, the wondrous alchemy, so to speak. Not all experiments bear fruit. And that is why I kind of I especially liked them and was okay with them in Bloodborne, because they are completely optional content, right? They don't interfere with the game. So if you don't like them, don't do them. No big deal, right? Uh, they degrade very, very slowly, M321. You do have to repair them in town as a formality. Once in the blue moon. Probably once every eight hours or so. It is not something you need to pay attention to. In other Souls games, and other From Software games, there's more of a focus on durability, and your items can break during combat very inconveniently. That won't happen in this game. It's kind of kept there as a deprecated system. It just doesn't, it doesn't, I have never had my weapon break in Bloodborne, like ever. In the other games, sure, it can happen. Yeah, it, it is, it is that, yes. It really has no purpose being in this game except as a as a legacy item from the other from software action games. It doesn't really do anything in this game of any relevancy whatsoever. And that is A-OK. -okay. Does Elden Ring have weapon degradation? I don't think it does. I think at this point, they may have just abandoned it. I mean, it wasn't really a thing in DS3 either. Like, every time you go to a bonfire, it resets, so... But I think it's actually completely out for Elden Ring. At least I didn't notice it whatsoever, so... I think, I think it's completely gone. Frankly, they don't need it anymore, you know what I mean? That is not the intended. Oh my god, it's not fair. Uh, no one will complain about that. Literally no one. Believe me. No, I'm sure some people will find some things to complain about for Elden Ring, especially within the community, but... 
there is no justification for complaining about the removal of a deprecated system that honestly wasn't used for about three games in a row anyway. That will not happen. Nobody liked it in DS2 either, the last game where it, where it was relevant. So uh, no one is going to complain about it unless you make up a fake, fake persona on Twitter to complain about it, which someone will. But in reality, literally no one will have a problem with that being gone. People always go dumbing down, but that's not dumbing down. I mean, I have no doubt that Elden Ring will have the most challenging content available in any From Software game. Uh, it's not a dumbing down. It just doesn't, that system doesn't need to be there. It's not a dumbing down system. It just doesn't have any place in it. There's no need for it to exist. There's no mechanical justification for it to exist. I think it was just kind of grandfathered in from their old games before the Soul series, and they've taken a good long look at it over the last ten years and probably said, okay, we don't need that. It doesn't do anything. It's not a dumbing down, it just... There's no reason for it to exist. For those who want, you know... Awesome battles and, and hardcore encounters and all that fun stuff. They're, they're, I have no doubt that you will have your fill in Elden Ring. Yeah, maybe. Prime, maybe. We'll see. I can't wait to see that those, those two face off in a Game of the Year show now. If Breath of the Wild 2 makes it out for next year. Well, we did Breath of the Wild on stream. Uh, Zella Star, the full thing is on YouTube. Did I already get the item behind this guy? I think I did. Listen, I really enjoyed Breath of the Wild, and I think Curse of the Wild will be good, too. Uh, yes, God of War is also on deck. It's going to be a very... It's going to be a packed year. I know what I called it, Danny. That's right. I am aware of what I said. I know I know it might surprise some people, but I am cognizant of the words that I use and that come out of my mouth. Although that may seem surprising at times. Alright. Alright, here we go. Oh boy. Alright, hydrate. Hydrate. This fight gives me problems. I don't know why. Ugh. Danny, it's just it's just what we're calling it because we don't have a official title. I believe that's the language we're using here. All right, all right. Remain calm. Attach bolt paper. Dodge fire. Oh. 
I mean, I see three health bars. I get very intimidated, okay? I get reminded of, like, Dark Souls 2. And those three jokers in that room that do things to me. Man, what a bunch of jokers. You can give me all the hints you like, Prime. I appreciate it. I appreciate the uh, the tips, as always. Just trying to get through this, folks. It's, it's, it's a really tough game if you haven't played it. In case you couldn't tell, Miyazaki has a thing for ring wraiths, uh, which is why they're in this game. It's probably why they're in Elden Ring. Also, I swear there's another shortcut that I that I don't have that's much quicker. Run back to the boss. And I, for the life of me, I don't remember what it is. But yeah, Miyazaki's a big Tolkien fan, big Lord of the Rings fan. I, I know all of you already know that. There are... There are such creatures in um, Elden Ring as well. I want to stay very, very far away from Fireman. Fireman bothers me.
gumdrop is pretty awesome, isn't it? Big fan of gumdrop. Dude! Yeah, Barry, you know, we're still waiting for that, too. That fight, I'm telling you, for some reason, that fight is the hardest fight in the game for me. Poor game. Not getting DLC, obviously. Very close, Deadly. I can't believe I, I can't believe I choked at the end. Well, I mean, I can believe that, but I don't want to believe it. Not really, Shaz. No. Camu, that, that listen, it's all right. Camu underscore Cthulhu cheered. X200. Woof. Woof indeed. Thank you, Camo. That's because I don't I don't think it's actually the quick way back, Prime. I think there's another shortcut that we don't have. That I must be forgetting. Jumping is good. Jumping is very good. Fans of jumping here. A lot of jump fans. We also sidestep. We don't just roll, Barry. In Bloodborne, you sidestep. But yeah, I, I'm pretty sure there's a faster run back to this boss, but I don't, I don't recall it. And I also can't believe that I screwed that up at the very end. Oof, boy.
That's a pretty solid tip, Kragon. See, they get these tentacles, man. How am I supposed to fight that? is also unwieldy as fuck, especially in this fight. Uh, correct, Raygon. It was a New Year's thing. New Year's people said I had to do Kirkhammer, so we're Kirkhammer. Alright. We did it, fam. A Herculean effort. Ninja Killer, not really. Today has been a a, a comedy of errors, okay? Uh, glad to have you here, though. And thank you for the, uh, thank you for checking in. No, Barry, I did not. I attempted to place another order in, but it won't be here for a couple days, maybe. Not gonna starve, Barry. Thank you for your concern. And hello, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that very scintillating battle against the Shadows of Yarnum. It was definitely a battle, was it not? I think we can all agree that it was a battle. A battle that gives way to the nightmares of Bergenworth. The 
buzzing sound in your head when these things like frenzy you is like a definitely an added bonus. Really cool, right? Really selling the illusion. Is that Jeff Goldblum? Good one. I like it. Plenty of peanuts in this. Listen, I, I I consumed some some organic matter. Okay, I'm not starving. Uh, but because of COVID, like destroying this entire city, they um. There is nobody to, you know, do another delivery for like a day or so. C congrats, Craig, Craig, on it. I mean, if you continue with the DLC, you will find that Ludwig is surprisingly one of the easier bosses in that DLC. <laughs> uh, as challenging as he is, they, they really went all out with the Bloodborne DLC. Bloodborne DLC is like designed for maximum punishment. He is hard. He is hard. Uh, the bo the final boss of the Bloodborne DLC is one of, if not the hardest boss in any From Software game. Currently available. This thing is really yes, Zelastar. I wonder what item this guy's guarding. It's probably not. It's not worth this headache. That's for sure. It burps often. It's a mind flayer. And as we talked about, you know, canonically in any JRPG, um, mind flayers are like a very strong opponent. Canonically. Can't wait for Elden Ring to come out. I agree. Elden Ring is going to... Uh, I, Elden Ring is going to be amazing. I use Instacart, M321, yes. You are correct. Does that thing remind you of the movie Teeth? It's very similar to the, the Gaping Dragon. Plus a centipede. If you remember that old classic Dark Souls 1 boss.
course it was Ninja Killer. Of course it was. The Gaping Dragon. Correct. Correct, uh, Barry. Uh, a boss is te that boss is technically an optional boss. You don't have to fight it on a run. But it depends on your playthrough. Now, the human centipede has nothing to do with any of this. But yeah, I do use Instacart. But believe me, like in my in my town, it is currently like nothing is available anywhere. You have questions for the character designers, really? What questions, Barry? I'm interested. It's supposed to be scary. Is it not scary and disturbing? For those of you who thought the last boss was something, just wait till you see the next one. Which were almost two, actually. There's actually a mini boss and then a boss. This guy in here is actually pretty difficult himself. Can you jump in Elden Ring? Yes, you can. You have a jump button in Elden Ring. You can also jump attack, uh, which does a lot more stagger damage. <clears throat> Elden Ring has a dedicated jump button. I know there's been lots of questions about that. It does exist. Does that mean there's platforming? There are more opportunities for verticality and situations where you'll be doing jumping like a platforming exercise, but I wouldn't call it exactly platforming. But yeah, you just I guess the answer you want to hear is yes. But there's not, not, it's, yeah, it's not going to be like Mario, okay, but there's going to be more embraced verticality and you're going to have situations with multiple levels and tiers that involve jumping. I hope that answer hits your question. It is a the, the added jump is significant in case you're wondering. Even if you don't plan to, you're, you're gonna have to use it to traverse the environment in some cases, uh, to the best of your abilities, and in other cases, using utilizing the jump attack will be instrumental to your plan for a boss, assuming you're using melee. All that is dependent on your weapon and you know other choices you're gonna make, but. Jump attack is very good. Horse jumping. Horse jumping is... Well... The horse double jump can get you to places, but maybe you'll be able to get to those places without the horse double jump as well.
the horse super jump, called like spirit jumping or whatever, is very important for traversal. Oh. Prime, you will find a substantial repertoire of weaponry to use in Elden Ring. And don't forget, in Elden Ring, many weapons have uh, unique aspects or abilities that are tied to that weapon. So there'll be a lot of very interesting things going on with weapons and weapon combinations via taking abilities put on from one weapon and putting them on a different weapon. Or even changing the stat scaling on one weapon with another weapon. Oh, Craig, and there's always, we can, we're not going to miss anything. Uh, man, my, my throat's getting really sore. All right. Um, let's do a stream raid, shall we? For those of you out there who are dropping units. Craig, and like the area that you're thinking of that gets closed off, you have to go to later anyway, so it's not really a big deal. In fact, I think we'd go there shortly after this, right away. So there really isn't any... While this is a... While this boss is highly significant in how the player perceives reality, it does not actually gate us off from doing any prior content. <clears throat> Prime. I assure you that what you have seen of Elden Ring is a very small portion of its visual um, diversity. Hi Zen, how you doing? Not really, Barry. Like I said, even though it's my favorite, it's probably one of my least played because I want it to. Uh, I want it to be in sixty <laughs> and on PC. Kragan, uh, you are correct in some respects there. Um, there are you're, you're speaking, of course, of the alternate ending, which we can still get even if we push the game forward at this point. Um, it will lock out one of the um, available umbilical cords. Or maybe none, I forget. But moon presence is not really important to me in a run. Uh, the DLC is far more important. Yeah, Prime, I mean, I don't know about that. We'll see. Welcome. What is it? Oh, God. Then well? that's a lot of talking. I guess we should go get Yosefka's thing right now. Or, or does that happen after Rom? I think that happens after Rom. Uh, Zen, I have a lot to say about Final Fantasy VII, but I, I have a sore throat, so I don't want to go Welcome through all of it. What is it? Very well. Let me... If you want to go back and watch those VODs, I do talk about it there pretty extensively. I don't want to put that on you, though. Uh, umbilical cords. Yes, that's what I said, Barry. To access a secret boss, you need to consume three umbilical cords. There are five, I think, available that you can get. Honestly, the secret boss was cool before the DLC, but once the DLC came out, who cares? That that boss is completely a non-starter. <clears throat> but it is, it is the way to get the secret ending, I suppose. This boss was, is a complete freak show, and uh, really disturbed me the first time I fought him. Very unusual. Very cool boss fight.
Don't tell anybody about that. All right, here we go, fam. If you haven't seen this one, uh, you really do want to see this one. I did, Prime. I did. I did give people the secret of Alucard. A minute, Prime. A minute. This is a this this fight is incredible. Like this, this speaks to From's design. Such an incredible visual spectacle, along with a very dangerous boss. Don't be deceived by my apparent. Uh, recklessness. This is an incredibly dangerous opponent. This is Rom, the vacuous spider. And friends. Uh, as you can see, they are strongest around the head. So that's actually not where you want to target them. Or him. I wish you would port. Thanks. There we go. That's the best way to get his spider the spiders to break up, you know? You gotta get him out of his spider shell. The alternative, of course, is to kill all the spider ads very slowly and carefully. But man, it's heartbreaking when you lose an attempt after you spend so much time killing the spiders. Sorry, I, I'm not reading chat right now, folks, so talk amongst yourselves while I battle him. I will get to your questions right after. Oh my god, that's so many freaking spiders! Oh, my Lanta. I, I don't know. I think there's just way too many freaking spiders. Getting really sick of these spiders on this plane.
Yeah, get some, Rom. What up? Kragen, that is the general method. Once you kind of know what you're doing, and you know the logic, um, you can be a little bit more aggressive. They're not in this game, Prime. Yeah, Barry, for sure. Zen totes, right? He, he's not easy. What Kragen said is true. That fight is actually very challenging. Don't just win the same way everybody else does. The most important thing for playing in Bloodborne, Dark Souls, Sekiro, any of the From Software games or Souls like, it is certainly not skill. Um, it's patience. Patience and tenacity are the two most important um, qualities to bring into a From Software game. Not twitch reflexes. Uh, not boss pattern memorization. I mean, all this stuff is important eventually, but like... The most important thing... Is the will to persevere. Sure, skill helps. It's just not the most important thing. Those are all very important things. But do you think that the first time I fought Rom, I, I cleaned him up like that? That's not how it went. <laughs> uh, I assure you, I died many times to that ghoulish creature. Very well, let me... um, and so many other bosses that I can one-shot now. Like that one time I one-shot Orphan of Cost. That was really lucky. That is... Orphan is one of the hardest bosses in From Software. Maybe even harder than Ishin. I've talked to people that say he's harder than Ishin, and I can believe it, because Ishin is more predictable. I can actually see that argument. I mean, Zen, I still think Ishin is harder, but. There are, there are people who make the case that Ishin is harder, and I, I don't disagree with them. I, I mean, I, I don't disagree. I, I think I, I can see that. But yeah, like, these bosses that, that I've had a lot of practice on and done many times, you know, that, that that's an aspect of them. I don't just go in and clean bosses up, alright? I, I, I'm like anybody else. I'm human, and I need to learn the fights too, you know? to some respect. Uh, yes, then. Stan we're, we're, in both these cases, we're talking standard orphan versus standard Ishin. Otherwise, we got to bring in like weird qualifiers like NG plus whatever. You bet I beat Boss of Solo with up. Oh, I don't play with summons, Zillastar. Correct. That is true. One of these days, I want to do a run where I play with summons. Just because I've never done it. And that was not born out of, like, any nastiness for, for summons in my case. But because I review the games, 
there is no summoning during that time period, right? I'm on my own. So, I, I basically have to learn how to play it that way anyway. I'm not against using summons. I think you should play whatever way you want. And if that includes summons, I'm way on board for that. But because I am typically playing the game in advance of its release, for review, there's nobody to summon. Even if I wanted to. Shields don't exist in the Bloodborne universe, which is why I like it. There is a shield, but it's a joke weapon. Demon of Hatred was the hardest? Uh, nobody argues that. <laughs> nobody argues that, son. Is summoning like setting up a flare in Monster Hunter World? Yeah, it is, Barry. Someone will come help you fight a boss. And the way bosses are tuned in, um, in Bloodborne, having another player makes it a lot easier in a lot of cases. So that's, uh, that's another way to, like, tune the difficulty to, you know, your desired level. If you are struggling with a boss, with a particular boss encounter, summon some help. I guarantee someone will come help you. There's tons of people just waiting to join your game and fight bosses. As you may have noticed, I also, because of this, I, I also prefer playing solo. Um, at this point. Because it was kind of the way that I grew into the series, but... I don't, like... I'm not some purist who's going to be like, Oh, you can't... You know, you can't play the Souls games with summons. It doesn't count. I mean, like, that's not true. By all means, use them. Have fun. But that goes back to player choice. I, I think both are valid ways to play. Hey, hunting hollers, what up, yo? I mean, Mo Monster Hunter is designed for team play. So that's different. In any case, play your way. Um, I'm sure there'll be lots of people doing lots of summoning in Elden Ring. Hell, you know what? Maybe what we do on our Elden Ring run, on our first Elden Ring run, is what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll start helping other people. How about that? That sounds fun. Ooh. By the way, hi, Hunting Hollers. How you doing? I'm still a little bit under the weather here. But we're playing Bloodborne anyway. Very typical Dan behavior. Uh, Father Owl is hard. It's very hard. Sekiro is... Sekiro, I think, is in some ways the most challenging from software game, and in other ways, not. It's very bizarre, because that game doesn't have options, right? That whole game is Sekiro's way or the highway, and you either learn, which you will eventually by ramming your head into it, um, or you will never succeed. Whereas Souls and Bloodborne and the rest of the games in that suite give the player many more options on how to tackle encounters. Bloodborne, it, Bloodborne is great for the body, Hunting Hollers, you're not wrong. Bloodborne is great for body and mind, and soul. See what I did there? See what I did there, chat? And I gotta go and I gotta get back my comedy act. Clips like that.
Barry, it was a very good joke. We can both admit that. Quietly. Whoa! Where did that guy come from? I, I, I'll tell you what, whatever's in that chest is not worth it. I'm very much overextended since my last save point here. Uh, I'm not really a fan of this area in general. One of the least good areas in this game. A game with many, many good areas. BT dubs. This whole part here where you gotta dodge the laser beam while you run down those ramp is... It's asinine. Yeah, they respawn because of the bell ringers. Anything that's red means that they're chain they're tethered to a, uh, a bell ringer somewhere that you gotta find. Software has continually employed the aspect of a non-violent bell ringer or summoner character that brings massively nasty things into play, like like they do here. Oh, hi, Jack. What's up? How are you doing? Are you having a good day, Jack? Welcome to Jurassic Park. Foul beast! Oh. oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, I hate this, I hate this. We had to get that moon. We had to get that moon. Uh, where is it? There's, a, there's an elevator up here somewhere, right? You plague ridden. Oh god, we went the wrong way. Oh god. Oh jeez. Oh! Oh man, we don't have a save point anywhere close. We were so close to the loop. I mean, yeah, I think one shot me, okay? He's Lorge. Is that a skull tree in a box? Yes, Barry. Yes, it is. Did you enjoy said skull tree in box? Nice. Bloodstone chunks. We like those. We might be able to upgrade our weapon. Actually, you know what? The save point ain't that bad. We're good. Gravy. I mean, yeah, Revan. I mean, there was a lot of stuff chasing me at that point. Something was going to kill me because I took the wrong turn. I french fried when I should have pizza. Take that lesson to heart. If you're going to run through a whole level... You should know where the elevator is. Is it this way? We went the top route last time. Didn't work out. This also was not it, but it is a shortcut. Just not the one we were looking for. However, it will prove handy should we die again. Which we almost certainly will. We like to employ what I call high risk, high reward stratagems. There we go. We found it!
You plague ridden rat. Wait, how is this hunter not reset yet? Oh my god. Alright, you know what? You can stay down there. How did he not leash after... That's absurd. I'm forced to watch a movie out of three choices. Oh, this should be good. Matrix Resurrections. Okay. Any of the sequels? Episode 7 and 9. Okay, those are out. Or one of the newer Jurassic Park movies. How new? God, those are awful choices. Yeah, I guess I take, you know, I guess if, with those options, I do take Lost World, which is horrible movie. <laughs> but I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place with those picks. Like the last what? No, yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Lost World, okay? I pick Lost World, the original Lost World. Out of those particular films. Nice. We could upgrade the old Kirky. Welcome to the home of Yonam Blood Menstruation. is the home of blood menstruation. <clears throat> oh, hey. We're back, fam. I am glad that some people in chat like the new Matrix. I am always happy when people like things. Even if I didn't like them. You know, I forgot to level up. That's okay. We don't need these souls for anything, do we? There's some way to get back down to Dark Beast Paul from here, right? Where does anybody remember how? Oh god, look at all those Jesus. Any one of those can one-shot me, but beat by the way. Try jumping. Jumping is good. Just think, in, in Elden Ring, you can actually jump. No longer a meme. Understood, Jack. I guess we're not anywhere near that right now. We'll have to get back to that in a second. We're kind of committed to a, to a run here. How on earth am I dodging it? Okay, so, Big Boss, once you get... Once you get familiar with these games, some players prefer to... Um, to roll through challenging situations so that they can get to the, the stuff that they like the most. You know, bosses and stuff. Now, it does require... a bit of finesse... Uh, on the player's part to predict enemy movements to get to that stage. It's something that happens with time. 
uh, as you play these games a lot. If you've seen me play through Dark Souls, I'm get I'm almost getting to the point where I can speedrun Dark Souls 3. I don't think I fight any regular enemies. Yes, and that's the preferred... I, I don't want to take that away from anybody. When you play, you should kill everything and learn the areas very well. That is actually how I play through an area on the first time, too. Oh, pretentious one, you flatter me unnecessarily and untruly. Well, what Barry, what I was doing, I was running out of stamina. But I was keeping track, like, if you notice when I do run through an area that has a lot of, like, really dangerous enemies, I will stop and, like, do a walk for a second, and then I'll start rolling again. During that walk phase, I know that I'm going to get a free dodge, and my bar is going to get back up. Yeah, I need some Souls Daddy merch. Somebody find me an artist who wants to do Souls Daddy merchandise. Let's make it happen. This thing used to call itself the Souls Daddy. Hello. Here we see Dan employing one of the methods that we use against big monsters in From Software games. The bigger it is, try to get inside of it. They will generally have only one really powerful attack that can hurt you while you're inside of it. And that's the one you gotta watch for. So most players will kill all the big shooting guys on the top before they do this, but... Well, we're not most players here, are we? Generally, the bigger it is, uh, the more inside of it you want to get. Yeah, actually, Zen, it is very much like the Tower Knight fight. It's exactly the same. You got a bunch of people shooting fireballs on top, except to arrows, though. Um, but you fight, you do that fight pretty much exactly the same as the Tower Knight. And thanks for the GGs in chat. Appreciate it. But yeah, that fight is like the Bloodborne equivalent of the Tower Knight. <sighs> Jack, that's a great question. How are you doing tonight, Jack of Daw?
I, let's just say I can't wait for Elden Ring. Oh, Elden Ring. What are Chalice Dungeons? We're gonna, we'll have to do a whole stream of Chalice Dungeons Prime. They're really... They're randomized dungeons, and they're not... I don't think they're particularly entertaining. As, as Chat said, there are some bosses that you can only fight in the Chalice Dungeons, but... It's basically like a lot of work to, to unlock them. You have to keep going through um, one Chalice Dungeon to get to the next, to the farm resources to get to it. It, it's, it was a cool procedural generation system they put in that didn't really work out. They should try again. Well, with Elden Ring, they don't have to. Will Elden Ring be, at, be accessible for lowly tarnished playing as Lord? Yeah, Arjun, I've talked about this, but I can talk about it again. Do I think Elden Ring will be a 10 out of 10 game? Obviously, I, obviously I can't predict what the full game looks like, Big Boss. Um, and I'm sure certain people would hate me if I want, want, want to say anything like that early. But yes, I do predict that, yes. Obviously, we can't know if it's a 10 out of 10 game without playing the full game. But my prediction right now is that it will be, yes. Welcome home. What is it here? Very well, let me... Farewell. Farewell, good hunter. got here physical attack up 5.3 percent you don't say physical attack up 5.4 percent and poison okay right I don't I don't pretend this one I don't but if you if you asked me to predict a score on a game I don't have a problem doing that, even though, again, obviously we're doing so with, with extremely imperfect knowledge, okay? I think with that caveat, it's fine. idea, Barry. I know, Zellastar. I'm aware of that. Some people, again, we've, we've, we've talked about review scores a lot here. All right. Let's go kill Dark Beast real quick. Since we saved him, we saved him kind of like a dessert snack. We skipped him earlier. We could have done him earlier. We probably would have liked doing him earlier. Do I think... I don't, I don't. We don't know anything about Chrono Cross Remaster. We've played some of Elden Ring, so it's a very different scenario here. Uh, but obviously looking forward to Chrono Cross Remaster. Obviously looking forward to the Final Fantasy Tactics Remaster. Or remake, or whatever the heck it is. I did play Chrono Cross, but I haven't played whatever this new... Tetsido, it is not like object... See, this is why I hate doing it. People are going to try to trap me into saying some Garbo. Have either of those been confirmed? I don't think so, Barry. But we're talking about him anyway.
Bloodborne 2? I mean, Bloodborne 2 would have to be Sony. So, it's not quite, um, you know, a known quantity. You don't think it's real, Barry? Well, I said it was real. Isn't that good enough for you? Okay, okay. I just died there. That's great. That must have had to go down one more chamber. I got forked. Hey, I've been doing good tonight, DJ. It's about time I take a loss. I gotta take some beatings. You see how I worked ROM? We killed a ton of bosses tonight. You want to believe me? Well, then believe me. Why would I lie to you? What do I have to gain from that, Barry? Don't make no damn sense. I hesitated. Aralyn, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Wait, where the hell is Dark Beast down here? This ain't no Dark Beast room. Oh god. I'm too good. I hesitated. Hang on, Barry. I am. Wait, hang on. Thank you. Thank you so much for the sub. Aralyn, and thank you, Croc, for the gifted sub to DJ. You are at 175, 175th birthday. A good birthday, to be sure. Okay, that's fire. That, that hurts a lot. I don't like that. I know. Isn't that... I know, Zen, right? Hey, it's maybe someday you can have that many. If you're good. Only if you're good. I think Jax is trying to get killed by these hunters. I don't think I don't think Jax thought the Dark Beast was down here at all. I I am confident that a Final Fantasy remake or remaster tactics is is in the works. There it is. There it is. We found it. I knew it was down here somewhere. Oh, look. There's a summoning dude right there to summon. If we need help with this fight. This one is a doozy, fam. I hope you're ready for some intense... Intense nail-biting action. The Dark Beast himself. Now, what I tell you about big monsters? All right, all right, all right. What is happening here? Did I get like, was I falling through the world there? I've never seen that happen. It is a dope looking boss. Very optional, too. 
Although on my first run, I didn't know that. Oh, Trigon's great, Camo. You're going to enjoy that. You know, Zen, it's easy to say that I hate things. Why don't we ever talk about the things I like? Pizza with fruit on it. Yeah, Jack. Well, I don't think I, I don't think I've ever seen you play this game. So how about that? Where you at? Where you at now? Uh, Zen, I did do a charity stream uh, for Bloodborne. Yes. Pizza with fruit on it? I do not approve of pizza and fruit. Together. This game has unmatched vibe and atmosphere. It really does. Seriously, yo. Zen, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. I think you just need to hang out more. It is some headgear. Ducks, manatees, and hammers. Yep, those are all canonical Dan items. That said, I didn't actually want this to be a hammer run. That was chat's choice during uh, the People's Choice Challenge during New Year's. New Year's Eve. I mean, purple is a fruit. That That is actually true. Squid game. Well done, Zen. Well done. Purple is a fruit. Money can be exchanged for goods and services. This could buy many peanuts. You might be wondering why we're in like a, a lecture hall now. It's because we're in nightmare and dream. Question for Dan. That's me. What's up? A 
fine hit. They do, Dorado. I can confirm they do use that guy to get books from the top shelf. Did I start this run tonight? Uh, we technically we started it on. We barely started it, right? When did we start it? New Year's. New Year's Eve, but we did it like just at the very end of the stream, if I recall. Is that does that sound right to people? It was basically just tonight. A misreckoning. I shared with you a thing most secret. Because yesterday we did the marble stream, obviously. To a miracle, and all the stronger for it. It's plain as a pike staff. Now. Yeah, that's happened. how it happened. You were as a lamb. We were not playing Bloodborne, and I got convinced well, by chat you to uh, it wasn't for you to play it. So we technically we started it then, well that ends well. but we didn't do very much. We killed like cleric beast and gas coin. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Bloodborne got chosen over Jackbox. That's right. No matter. Such details are trifling. We're fast friends by now. Let this express what words cannot. Oh, d doubt me not, sweet compere. What is friendship but a chance encounter? <laughs> you did bribe me by dropping units. That's true. Uh, well on the good grace of a certain god, and the way he meted out his love. <laughs> ah. I mean, that is what happened. Patches is, in fact, a scumbag, yes. Always. That is Patches' character uh, in Souls and in Bloodborne. And perhaps in Elden Ring? Dot, dot, dot. The man... No, he's not a spider in all games, Barry. But... A duplicitous and treacherous character has been in... Um, who tries to basically kill you and take your stuff. He is not one to be trusted. He is, however, human in the other games and not a spider. You know, Zellastar, I watched that series. It was pretty good.
Is there anything in this room I'm even trying to get? I don't even know at this point. Probably, I guess. You started to watch The Expanse. I haven't watched it yet. Been recommended to me for a long time. Right now, I'm trying to get through, uh... I gotta watch Antlers. Because I Am Leafy unrecommended to me. I am not recommending Antlers right now. I'm just saying. It got put in my lap. And Bebop. I'm on the sixth episode of Bebop, Zell. I have no desire to continue, but yeah, I, we're, we're working on it. I'm already bored with it. Like, a lot. Like, I already think it sucks. I, I, I know it's gonna go worse, so... Right? That's why you want me to watch it, because it gets worse? Nobody ever wanted me to keep watching something because it got better, right? Yeah, Argent, I mean, yes. I think in Elden Ring we'll see even bigger weapons. I think we'll see weapons that may dwarf the Kirk, that the Kirk Hammer is a dwarf compared to. We'll talk more about Bebop and stuff after I get... I, I just gotta force myself to watch the last two episodes, basically. I just gotta force myself to get through it. Am I no, but I see everybody on Twitter posting that, and I have no idea what it is. Everybody on my Twitter is like, here's my Wordle, and I'm like, what the hell is a Wordle? And I knew- there's Leaf. Uh, Leaf, I started Antlers. I have not finished Antlers. I had to scrounge for food, and I'm trying to keep hydrated. Wordle is like Zaddy, is it? I don't think Wordle is like Zaddy at all. I think those are two very different things. I, I don't think Wordle, Wordle is like Zaddy at all. I haven't seen Witcher Season 2 at all. Okay, thanks, Shaz. I'll check it out. I mean, if everybody, I, I mean, just because everyone's doing it doesn't mean I'm going to do it, but I do see everybody on my Twitter posting the Wordles, and I have no idea what it means, so. Very well, let me. Uh, of course, I like word based board games, so. I agree, Shaz. I will check it out at some point in my 
uh, recovery here. Kirk Hammer showing his weakness here. Danny Phantom, hey, what up? Sorry, Chad, if I missed something. I'm trying to dodge, like, a lot here. Wow, this, this was unfortunate. Hey, Chef, what up? Oh, dude, people have been complaining about Elden about hitboxes and from software games for tw for a billion years. I uh, ignore that. Would I entertain the thought of playing a Digimon game? Sure. Is there one in mind? Oh, Shaz, it's just such a tired argument, that's all. I'm so sick of hearing it. It's not how you... Well, what is it, Danny? Are you going to tell us? Now, listen, Elden Ring is going to blow you all away, all right? The end. That's the end. That's the whole story. More on that soon, I'm sure. Digimon survive. I have no, no clue what that is. It's like Fire Emblem. Wait, Digimon Fire Emblem? Okay, we can play that. I mean, Fire Emblem has permadeath. I have not heard a single thing about this game. Can somebody tell me what Digimon Survive is? OMG. Cos. Or some say Cosm. Do you hear our prayer? Oh, wait. You know what I gotta do? I wonder if I missed my... I gotta go see Ayo Sefka. Got to do that. I mean, Danny, that sounds like a very cool game. Is it coming out? Tell me it's coming to PC, please. Please. When does it come out, by the way? I, I'm entertaining the notion. I like Digimon fine. Wow, everything... Okay, we got it. Okay, Shaz, thank you. Coming to everything soon. I will have to look up more on this game. So I'm not promising to play it, uh, given timing and everything, but I will... I will tell you that we'll take a look at it when it comes out. How's that sound? I mean, I liked I liked Digimon back in the day enough to uh, to check out a Fire Emblem version. That sounds intriguing to me. Hey, I'm on board. I'm 
Metopia. Hmm. Now that that would require me to put on my switch, though, right? I guess I already have to do that for Metroid Dread, but. Send this one, don't you start with me. We finished three houses right here on stream. The entire VOD is on YouTube. And Happy New Year, Super Nintendo. Thank you for the suggestion for Metopia. I didn't bounce off three houses. We played the entirety of it on street. There is a YouTube catalog of every single episode. We played through it in its entirety. There is evidence. We have the receipts. I didn't finish P4 on stream, that's true, yeah. The new Pokemon is like, no. The one aspect of it's like Monster Hunter. It's not like Monster Hunter. And I did say that we'll probably check it out, and I'll probably be disappointed. That's all I can say about the new Pokemon at this point, because I don't know anything else, but... Pokemon has continually been able to let me down for the last decade, so... Um, I expect nothing, and we shall see what we get. That is true, Shaz. That is intriguing to me. Will I partake? Good question. We're gonna have a... It's coming right before a whole lot of stuff that we're gonna have to play is coming out. I would... Danny, I would be very happy if it shattered my expectations. This isn't some kind of gotcha scenario where I'm like, oh man, I really hope it sucks so I can trash it. It's more like... Pokemon has let me down continually. I hope others still like it a lot, but it has not been very good for me for a very long time. What about Dying Light 2? That one, I can tell you I have no interest in whatsoever. We will not be playing that. If it comes out and people are like, this is the best thing ever, then maybe we'll take a look. But right now, there's no plans to play it here. Tunic, definitely. Uh, I've been waiting for Tunic for like six years. They are Shaz. We're going to run the stream raid, and then we're going to wrap the stream up, by the way, folks. Uh, Dan Danny's got to go lie down. and check his temperature, and get some hydration, and all that stuff. Thanks, Barry. Hey, uh, good news, though. I'll be back tomorrow night, so if you like what you see on the channel, like, share, subscribe, if you're new. If you're not, look at all the awesome people here, and be like, yo, I'm joining the D-Squad today. Okay, that's my, sh that's my pitch, thanks. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Thank you, Azel. D <laughs> yes. Uh, Tunic has been in production for so long, I have no idea what it's like. What it's gonna turn out like. Certainly curious. We do have a Discord, Zellastar. Come join us. Good people there. Uh, Super Nintendo, I played one of the demos of Tunic. 
uh, when it was called something else five years ago at a PAX. So, I'm pretty sure any whatever I played there then is of no consequence today. But I recall it being very cool. Kind of Zelda E, Souls E, and Metroidvania E all in one. Ooh, there's our Castle Kanehurst summons. Do I think I'll play Horizon Zero Dawn too? Yeah, probably on stream. I liked the first game. I didn't love it. I thought it was good. I, I think Horizon 1 was like, you know, a Dantac 8. So that's good enough for me to check out the second one. Secret Legend, that's right, Super Nintendo. Wait, where's the umbilical cord? Oh no, I missed it. They took it. I mean, I'm not, I don't really care, but we don't. Moon Presence is completely a non starter for me, but. can't, Tetsido, you can't. Did I ever play the DLC for Horizon? I did not. Legend of... Okay. Legend of Mana is certainly not my favorite mana game. But I did really like the remake. Uh, of the, oh, here we go. God, I'm nauseous. Have you found it? Progressing. I can see things. I knew it. I'm different. I'm no beast. I'm... Oh, God, it feels awful. But it proves that I'm chosen. Don't you see how they rise? Rise inside my head. It's rather... This is not a happy game, for those of you who don't know. Salty, we're just about to wrap things up, but welcome. God, I'm nauseous. I'm... Oh, it's... Yes, folks, there is an alien growing inside of her. Spoiler alert, the aliens are not nice in this game. <laughs> Spoiler alert, the humans made like a pact with the aliens for the blood. It's a whole nasty thing. That's why it's called Bloodborne. Barry, that is not what happened. And um, you know that. In fact, Yosefka was truly evil, uh, you know, complicit with the alien actions in the church. Um, experimenting on humans. That was not a nice person that we killed, and she was not going to suffer a better... F I actually helped her out there. Her fate would have been even worse. Had I not killed her. Believe it or not, fam. It's not rationalization. That's the truth. I mean, legit, fam. Legit. Alright, that's going to do it for tonight's episode. 
I need to make sure I get enough water and rest before we head back to the week. Speaking of the week, guess what? Tomorrow we'll keep playing. How's that sound? That poor guy. That was actually a story monster. You see, you get to talk to that guy earlier before the night gets worse. In that house right there. You know, one of these days I want to see a From Software game with a bunch of happy stories in it. It'll never happen, but... Someone pointed out yesterday that the Onion Bro storyline is probably the happiest one that, that's ever existed. But 95% of them are all really awful degrees of misery. Alright, let's run the stream raid real quick and we'll raid somebody... Uh, it's been great having you here, fam. I hope you have a great start to the new year. Uh, join us on Discord. Like, share, subscribe, follow, whatever. I do have a YouTube. I put I put stuff on the YouTube. You can watch it on the YouTube. That's okay, big boss. Hey, that's what we got VOD. It's like taking Dan with you wherever you go. Oh, it looks like a friend of the show, Team Kayla, is playing Pokemon, so that sounds like a good raid. Have a wonderful evening, everybody, and I hope to see you again. Well, I'm going to see you tomorrow for Bloodborne. Same bat time, same bat channel. Have a wonderful day, folks. Uh, evening. Evening. Huh. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Hopefully I'm back up to 100% tomorrow and we're speeding through into the new year. You're very welcome, DJ. Cookies and cream? I, I, that was probably a happy story, wasn't it? Okay. I gotta go. I need water. Okay, bye.